Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the PL300 exam preparation series where we are exploring the second learning path model the data. In this video, we are going to explore the topic identify poorly performing measures, relationships and visuals by using performance analyzer, which is part of the section optimize model performance. We did not cover this topic initially because we had not cover, covered the visualization portion once we were talking about modeling of data. So now we have covered the relationships, the measures and visuals. So now we need to know how the performance analyzer can be used to identify all of these things. So let's go to the Power BI desktop environment and see how we can use the performance analyzer. Before I actually go and explain how we can use the performance analyzer, let me build a situation or a scenario uh, through which I will be able to explain to you what is the benefit of using the performance analyzer and how we can debug the performance of our visuals, our measures and our relationships. So let me just build that uh, scenario first and then I will explain how we can use the performance analyzer. So here on this report canvas, I have created a particular scenario where I have pulled in three shapes. So this is shape number one, this is shape number two, and this is shape number three. And then I have pulled in eight measures and each of this measure is placed inside a single card visual. So we have eight card visuals and three shapes. So if we go in the view option and have a look at the selection, selection pane so here in this area in this particular area we have already seen this area before i can see that there are 8 plus 3 11 objects on my canvas so this is the scenario that i have created on the first report page then i have another report page where i have included an image but i have included this image as part of the background so we know that how we can include an image as part of the canvas background and then I have included one visual which is a multi card visual and I have put the same measures inside the multi card visual. So all the measures that are there on the first report all of these are are there but instead of putting them into separate cards I have put them into one multi card visual and as you can see that here in the selection pane you just see one one card visual uh, as, as an object which is there on the canvas. So in the previous uh, page we have 11 objects and in this page we have just one object which is the multi row card. So now in the first report page I'm going to go and I'm going to click on the performance analyzer. So as soon as I click on the performance analyzer there is a new window that opens up and here if you if you go and see that it says that start monitoring your report to see details about the time taken by each visual to query for its data and render the result. So it is telling that you can get information about the time taken by each visual. By each visual means all the elements which are placed on the canvas and then what is the time taken to render the result. So once we have the visual here then obviously some kind of a result it, it is going to show and there is a time associated with rendering of a query and then there is a time associating with rendering of the visual itself. So this is how the performance analyzer works. So how uh, we can actually start it. So the first thing that we do is that we have to click on start recording and then we can just go and refresh the visuals. And once we have some, some kind of a numbers here, we can go and just click on stop here. So this is how you get the results. But it is always recommended that you do this, repeat this process at least two or three times. So I'm going to again repeat this process. So again, I'm going to say, okay, just clear, clear this area. Then I'm going to click on start recording, then refresh the visuals, which actually refreshes the visuals by, by, uh, uh, by sending a query and the data is retrieved and the visual is rendered and then by clicking on stop. Then again, if I click on clear, it means that the cache which it's actually saving the result is uh, is cleared and then I go and again I click on start recording refresh my visual and then I go and click on stop. So you get an idea by performing this step two or three times that okay this is the average of what the time is being taken. So now let's go and see what these 
these timings are or what is what are these results which are shown here so you you are going to see there are two columns so first is the name so here all the visuals which are there on the canvas including the 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 card uh, the card visuals as well as the shapes and then there is a time in front of all of these so let me just go and expand the first shape so the first shape is this big rectangle so here you see that there is a time which says 178 so this is the 178 milliseconds and the breakdown is given as the visual display 124 and other includes 54. So this is how we actually get the timing for a shape. Now let me just click on a card. So let me just click on this card visual. So in this card visual actually we have a measure. So there is going to be some kind of a uh, new thing that we are going to see here. So here the time is 705 where the DAX query time is 18, the DAX query is 97 and other is 590. So basically we are going to see these three timings. So DAX query time is the time taken for the DAX query to actually get the result. The visual display is the time that is taken by the visual to render the result. And this is a very significant thing which says other. So other is the time that basically the other visuals on the canvas are taking for their computation. So always keep this thing in mind that once you have multiple visuals on your canvas, then basically the process, the process of getting the timing and getting everything shown on the canvas, it not only includes the time, that one visual takes but it also includes the time that all the other visuals take so basically it's a kind of a serial process so if you have a look at the uh, power power bi dax engine then you would you are going to see that the queries are sent in a serial manner so once the queries are sent and the results are returned then everything on the canvas actually is working serially so the more visuals you are going to have the more you are going to see that this value is going to be different. So if I just have an overall look, you are going to see that most of the visuals here, they are returning a value which is in the 700s or uh, maybe in the 500. So it is the value that you are going to see here, uh, overall value. So now let's go and see what is the performance of the same visualization because we, uh, remember that we have these eight visuals but all the eight measures being shown in these eight visuals in the other screen, they are being just captured in one multi-row card. So let's see what is the performance there. So now I am on the other screen and now I'm going to go in the performance analyzer and then I'm going to start the recording. Then I'm going to refresh the visuals. Then I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to clear. Then again, I'm going to repeat this process. Start, refresh, stop. Then again, I'm going to clear my cache. Then again, I'm going to start the recording. Then again, I'm going to refresh the visuals. And then again, I'm going to stop. So now let's see what is actually happening here. So you, you, you could have seen that the value here in all the three iterations that I did, it never got, uh, you know, close to the values that we were seeing there. So it never went close to 500 or 700. And if you just come inside, here you are going to see that okay now the time for the DAX query total time that is being taken by the by this visual for the DAX query is 32 then the visual display is just taking eight and other and so here other is not basically there is there is no other element so here the other is the time which is the, the time which is taken by the overall visual to render so here the other is is not dependent on because there is nothing else so here you are going to see that okay these are very these these times are less so here this time is just 267 and we we saw that even it, it went down uh, to uh, in the 100s as well so the point to remember here is that the performance analyzer not only gives you an indication of the timings that are being taken by your DAX queries but also what how the visuals are performing but also how the overall canvas is performing so let's say if you have a scenario where you have the DAX timings very high so if you if you feel that a, a visual is taking a lot of time to render maybe a few seconds then obviously the time would be uh, uh, you're going to go into the into this area and then you're going to see that okay the DAX is taking a lot of time 
then you can go and have a look at your DAX formula. And if you feel that the DAX formula is all right, then, then you go back one step and you get to explore your data model. So this is a sequential way of debugging. So, so the first thing that you debug is your, is your report. Then you debug your visual performance. Then you debug your DAX performance. And then you go back and you actually see that, okay, maybe there is some fault in my data model. And then you go and explore the data model. And even maybe there is a pro problem which is which it goes back all the way back to the data source so this is how the complete debugging cycle takes place we we are not uh, actually uh, cover we do not actually cover this as part of the pl 300 syllabus but the dp 500 exam which is the next exam for power bi there is a whole section which just talks about how we can optimize our uh, our report performance and th and and there you actually have this whole cycle covered so here you also find one thing which i haven't talked about yet which is which is this copy query so what is actually happening that you can actually go and copy the exact query which is actually going and hitting the hitting the uh, power bi data model you can just copy this query from here you can uh, you can use an external tool like uh, uh, tabular editor or DAX uh, Studio, and there are a few others as well, which uh, actually help you where you can just go and, uh, you know, paste that query and then you can debug the performance. But again, like I said, we do not have to cover this part as part of uh, the PL300 exam. But just remember that these timings are very important. You should, you should know how to actually uh, get these timings. So the, the sequence of steps uh, that I have performed uh, in the performance analyzer, these are important. And then what these timings actually tell you, this is important. So just keep this thing in mind and just keep this thing in mind that the more elements that you have on the canvas, the more you are going to have a performance, which is actually, uh, you know, de defined by this other visual as well, uh, other timing uh, aspect as well. So that's all for the performance analyzer. And I'll catch up with you uh, in the next topic.